Hey guys, I just wanted to update you really quickly before I go to bed of everything that happened today. Um, I apologize in advance if I seem tired, it's been a really long day. Haley was at Leah's today, so it was just me, the nurse, and Hannah, so it made the trip a lot, lot easier without Haley there. Um, and Haley actually got to have fun because it would not have been fun for her. So I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Um, the night nurse got Hannah already, so I didn't have to do that. I just had to shower um, and do my makeup and just organize, help her organize. Um, the morning nurse started at 6 o'clock, and we were pretty much waiting for the morning nurse to get here so we could leave right away because... The appointment was at 9.15 and it's a three hour drive and it was rush hour so I wasn't sure uh, how much time we were going to have so I, we were really rushing to go as soon as the nurse got here. <laughs> so we're going to start until halfway here. Okay, you going to run? Neymar? Get set. Go. Run, 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 run. Oh! <laughs> Two runs, maybe. Neymar? <laughs> was that fun? <laughs> so our first appointment was at 9.15 and that was for cardiology. Um, and then our second one was at 1 and that was to get a G-tube put in. And she's had like, she's had a G-tube like a year ago and a J-tube. So I didn't think it was going to be that big of a, a like deal. Like I didn't understand why we couldn't put it on home. But anyways, I have videos from both of those appointments. Um, and I'll tell you about the G-tube um, right after I tell you about the cardiology stuff because it is... Like, not graphic, but she's she was crying a decent amount, so it's kind of, like, traumatizing. So, if you don't want to watch it, I'm warning you, like, she is pretty upset. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that we go through, like, on a pretty regular... Where's Dora? Oh, she's going down the slide. Where's Dora? Where's Dora? Oh, Cardiologist was actually really happy with her heart. Um, he said the VSD um, repair is looking good, and he thought that her pulmonary hypertension is like way down, like um, to the point he thinks he wants to stop sildenafil. I think um, he said it's not like you can't tell for sure on an echo, and that you'd have the only way you'd know for sure is to do a heart catheter. So he wants to do a heart catheter sometime this winter, um, which. I haven't really looked at the risks yet, so at the moment I'm excited. I'm only excited because that means we get answers, like, um, does she still have pulmonary hypertension? Um, is that the reason that she still has breathing problems? Or um, is her heart, like, way better, so then it's just, like, her lungs that are the problem? She needs sildenafil um, because he said that during a heart catheter you can, like, put uh, medicine in um, and see how the heart reacts and heart and lungs react. So if he puts in sildenafil and it doesn't do anything, then that means he can start like weaning down or sildenafil. And then, I don't know, there was a couple other things he said, but I can't remember at the moment. So for the G-tube, we were supposed to meet the doctor at 1, and for some reason, I don't know if it was the doctor that was making the appointment or if the other doctor that was supposed to be there just forgot or didn't know. Um, anyways, the doctor wasn't there to do it, so um, they had some nurse um, try to do it, and she wanted me to like she wanted me to do it, which I wanted to do. I wanted to do it at home, so I was happy to do that. Um, we actually couldn't get the G tube, oh, the Foley catheter, out of, out of her, um, and they thought that we were actually going to have to come back. So instead, they called up uh, a doc, a different doctor from the PICU, to come up, and he gave her a little bit of sedation because she was really upset with the trying to pull out the Foley catheter. So the sedation helped her relax, so that because. Um, when you're like crying, your stomach muscles tense up, so you couldn't. We couldn't get the tube out, and then they were scared that even if we got the tube out, that we wouldn't be able to get the new tube back in. So yeah, they gave her a little bit of medicine. Um, I think it was 
lorazepam, I think. Um, I should know this. I don't know. Um, yeah, but, yeah, so there's a couple videos where she's, like, really happy. She was being so cute. Like, two people were like, oh, she made my day. It was, yeah, really sweet. Um, it definitely helped. You, you can see in the video before and, like, after she was way more relaxed. So it's definitely worth giving her a little bit of something to calm her nerves. Like and just make sure that your balloon is intact. Perfect. Here's Bonnie awesome. gonna insert Hannah's new G tube. Oh. Awesome. And then you want to get out. There should be some lubricant in that pot. pot. Oh. Yes. There's always a pot of lubricant. That is really interesting. They always have one. All right. Let me get get some. You have lubricant. Just go ahead. You don't need some for him. No, it's on our list. So then have that one exactly. And then this will be nice and handy to wipe off anything that comes out of the, out of the tummy. Hi. Does this actually deflate the balloon, that one? And then... Does it fit in there? You betcha. Okay. You betcha. So this is where we push. It's probably best if she... Will she lie down? Uh, because it's a lot easier oh, yeah. to put them in. Yeah. 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 What a pretty top you've got. And I know. So mom's deflating the balloon and she's going to take the Foley catheter out. I don't know if it's Mummy is doing a fantabulous job. <laughs> Let me get under your elbow. Oh, Hannah, you know there you go. There we go, sweetheart. I, don't, I think the blue might be so included. I don't know. It is. It will be tough coming out because the balloon always remains sl ever so slightly. I don't have to take it out. It always just falls out. Yeah, and then it's just I straight out. I don't know. If I yep, you're right. doing great. You're doing fantastic. No, I don't think okay, just oh, honey, um, bye. here. Let's sit up first. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay, okay, honey bun. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. Catch your yeah, pussy. Yeah. But what I don't want is if she gets too sore and inflamed, we won't get the next one in, and then I think it would be better if Doctor Galanka did it. Uh -huh. Okay, catch your breath, sweetie. Catch your breath. You're doing good, Hannah. Oh, you're a good girl. You're good girl. so tired. No, you got it. You've got it empty. It's dry. Yeah. See if it was okay that we it's, film it. You've done. You've done a perfect job. The problem is, oh, honey bun, just wait. Because if she's really upset, the new the the button isn't going to want to go in. Okay, honey. Okay, this is. Okay, sweetheart. And I can feel it's just the balloon is, the, the balloon is, oh, hon. It's so tired. Yeah. No, it's still, it's really wedged in there. And part of it is, I'll show you. I'll just leave it there. Just there for a sec. Okay, honey, bye. Okay. Your arms, please. Ooh, Hannah, your nose is running, you know that? Yeah, she's got cold. I think that's why she's on the bed. Okay. Okay, baby. It's bitter. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah, I know. It, aki, aki. Can okay. you sit up for a sec? Okay. You sit up for a sec. I know. It, aki taste. Terrible. Oh. I know. Aki. Right. Aki, right. aki. Oh, it's okay. Do you want a snuggle? A snuggle? Oh, yeah, it does. I my dilemma right now at the community is midazolam is all being provided in glass ampules, so I'm training multitudes of non-nearest care providers to crack into a glass ampule to take it out. Draw it up all in. Yeah. Seizures, and yeah. Why, why don't they change yeah. them? The company that produces the multi-dose vial has burned down, and there's a shortage now. So how come we have it? I don't. Just, just hospitals have it? I don't know. It's happened right across the province. Yeah, sure. yeah. They also stopped making. Uh, We've deflated the balloon, <laughs> but the balloon, the balloon is. The balloon is you. Do you want to I'm reluctant to give it the yank. I know it needs. See, there's the end of the balloon. Oh, oh, oh. And I, 
I, I know, honey, it's going to hurt. And I'm going to cause that because it's, it's going to bleed. Yeah. But. Do you want to go outside? No, it's okay. <laughs> I should be able to see this. Yeah, and normally this is not going to be the case. Oh. Oh, oh, there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh it, helps, yeah. it helps when she's so got her strong. abdominal muscles. She was so, we're clamping oh, down on it. Okay, girl. we'll wait till oh. she catches her breath the here. Yeah. The balloon was down. It's just down. Catting, catching on. Well, let's wait till she relaxes yeah. again. Yay. Because then you're oh. a lot of oh. flesh. Okay, honey. There, you catch your breath. You yeah. see, once, you stop, once she stops crying, these muscles will relax and let the tube go in. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we go there we go. And then turn it in and spin. Hey, Jack. Hey, 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 hey,